Friends in Christ, grace and peace to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In those days, a recommendation from the Bishop of the South Dakota Synod went out that all shall be wearing masks and physical distance. Hey, wait a minute, that's not how the Christmas story starts. And you're absolutely right. That's not how the Christmas story starts. But I couldn't help but hear similarities between the story of Christ's birth and our current situation. As I read about innkeepers that have no room for Jesus' parents, I'm mindful of pastors, deacons, synod authorized ministers, congregational councils, and others who help to make decisions about Christmas Eve worship services. Did these leaders feel like the innkeepers as they tried to keep Christ in Christmas and you safe? I'm sure Mary and Joseph were plain exhausted when they arrived in Bethlehem, and I know that many among us are completely exhausted as we arrive at Christmas Eve this year. It most certainly has been a challenging and trying year, and we still have a long way to go, even with the vaccine readily available for distribution. And so we come to the manger this year with reluctant hope. But siblings in Christ, what is most important is that we're still drawn to the Christ child, which is the light and hope for all the world. Upon a midnight clear, God's eternal light and hope arrived when not all earth was still, all wars had ceased, and the world was at peace. No, Christ arrived in the midst of people's exhaustion, political unrest, and when people thought God had forgotten about them. And so he arrives today in your unorthodox celebrations of Christmas, in your wrestling with what does this all mean, in your questioning what tomorrow will bring. He has arrived to bring light and hope into your and your neighbor's darkness. The angel's message to the shepherds that night is the same as it was to Mary and Joseph and is to us today. Do not be afraid. Hear the angels saying these words to you this Christmas. Hear their angelic choirs ring out in your life and illumine your darkness. And then do as the shepherds did. Go and tell what God has done on Christmas Eve. Siblings in Christ, let's be bearers of light and hope in Christ's name to the ends of the earth. May the peace that passes all understanding Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.